Hello, I'm R.L. Stein. I write the Goosebumps books. You know, werewolf legends haunted people's dreams for hundreds of years. Imagine a full moon, someone beneath it, slowly turning into a ferocious wolf creature. Our parents and our grandparents love to be scared by the classic werewolf tales, and I hope you will enjoy The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. I'll see you after the show. Right now I'm going for a quick bite. say I am not living here. What is it now? The medicine chest. Cool. Oh. A little corn snake. It was a corn snake. Oh, gross. Right there. Hey, give the snake an ear and it'll look like your old boyfriend. Brady, don't be silly. Snakes don't have ears. <laughs> Mom! Emily, we live near a swamp now. You're gonna have to get used to things that crawl and slither. Besides yourself. Oh. Grady, set this free in the swamp. Me? Have fun. Mom! Go on, a little wildlife never hurt anybody. Just don't go too far in, okay? Wasn't this far. I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I am not lost. school be better than this hole. You know, Emily, you're not the only one that doesn't want to be here. But at least I'm trying to make the best of it. Uh, after running into that weirdo in the swamp yesterday, I thought you'd be on my side. Mom and Dad have been talking about this experiment for years. And I'm not going to be the one to ruin it. <laughs> Gee, and the one time I was counting on you. Oh! oh. off the truck. Great. <sighs> this place is beginning to feel like home already. So, uh, when do you set the deal loose? Well, not for a while yet. Your mom and I have to tag them, make sure the trip here hasn't sent any of them into shock. Did you ever think 
that you would be spending your teenage years in a place like Fever Swamp? Not my wildest dreams. Hey, this is a great opportunity for you, you know? Most kids don't get to expand their horizons like this. Yeah, I bet you make lots of new friends. Oh, yeah, right. Like that psycho I ran into last night. He's not a psycho. He's a, he's a hermit. I asked about him in town this morning. He lost his family a while ago, and ever since then, it's been a little strange, but he just lives off the land, doesn't harm anybody. I don't feel right about this place. It feels so... It just feels so weird. Oh, Grady. You see these deer here? Up until a couple of days ago, they had never seen a swamp before. Now your mom and I get to study how they're going to adapt. And believe me, they will, because it's just natural to adapt. And pretty soon, they're going to love it here. And so are you. Very interesting. Glad I could be a part of your study. I saw you move in yesterday. Do you live here? I didn't know any kids lived here. People usually don't move into Fever Swamp. They move out. Hi, I'm Will Blake. I don't live over there. Grady Tucker. So, what are those deer you got in that pen for? Oh, well, my parents are scientists. They're studying how the deer will adapt to the swamp. Scientists, huh? We don't get many scientists around here. Sounds like you don't get much of anything. Yeah. It's old timers, mostly. We're the only kids. But you had lots of friends where you came from. Yeah, I had like 20 right on my street. Oh, that must have been great. It was. So, uh, you want to play catch? You got a mitt? Uh, I'm not much for baseball. I've got some targets out back. You've got a BB gun, don't you? Our family kind of doesn't believe in guns. Oh. You been in yet? Yesterday. Did you get lost? Yeah. People say the swamp starts to grow inside your head. You get confused, turned around. Sometimes people go in and are never heard from again. You know why your parents got that house so cheap? Yeah, because it's a piece of garbage. No. Because the old lady who lived there went into the swamp one day and never came out. So let's check it out. Wait a second. It's OK. I know my way around. This is incredible. Dinosaurs used to live in places like this. They still do. Alligators. You know, some of the most successful predators live in swamps and jungles. So how come they call it Fever Swamp? People around here believe there's a fever that comes from this swamp. It makes your body get hot like an oven. And it gets inside your head and starts boiling your brain. It makes you do crazy things. It even makes you run into the swamp and stay there. Maybe we shouldn't be here. Oh no, we gotta get out of here. What is it? Shut up and run.
tomorrow night. I saw that guy yesterday. Then he's lucky he didn't see you. He did see me. That's bad, Greedy. They can't prove it, but he's the real reason people keep disappearing. My dad says he's harmless. Don't believe it. He's been roaming around this swamp for 50, 60 years. Come on, he can't be that old. He's even older than that. People like him don't age like the rest of us. It's impossible. It's true. I'll never get a day older as long as he keeps finding victims. The moon is full tonight. You'll hear him howling and you'll know exactly what he is. Nothing else on Earth howls like that. Like what? Like a werewolf. You, know. you just got your license and you don't know the roads. So I'll drive slow. Is there any mail for me today, like from my friends? Mail doesn't come until Wednesday. Amazing it comes at all. I hear you met the neighbor boy today. What's he like? He's okay. Huh? Without a car, I'll never meet anyone my own age. Oh, Emily, come on. It's not like we're on the moon. His name's Will. You know what he said? He said there's a fever you get from the swamp. And the fever boils your brain and makes you go nuts. That's ridiculous. Are you sure? Did you know that a lot of people have disappeared around here? Did you know that the lady that owned this house disappeared? But Will knows what got her. A werewolf. <laughs> well, that's just great werewolves. I don't know about this Will. Will knows the swamp, Mom. And you know who he thinks that werewolf is? The swamp hermit. All right, I've heard just about enough. Now listen, there is no such thing as a werewolf. Those stories are just old folk legends. There's never been a shred of scientific evidence. And also, there's no such fever as the one you described. And as I told you before, that old hermit is a harmless old eccentric who has never hurt anyone. Or no one's lived to tell about it.
Did I hear someone screaming? Whoa. It was Grady. He was being licked to death. Where were you? You missed all the excitement. Something upset the deer. I went outside to check on. You left the door open. <laughs> well, I think we found the culprit. Hey, boy. He is huge. So that's who's been howling. What are you doing scaring people like that, huh, boy? <laughs> Wonder who he belongs to. No collar, no tags. He's probably a stray. Well, he seems friendly enough. Can we keep him for a while? A bit will make a great watchdog. Uh, I don't know, Grady. Oh, come on, Dad. Life in the country is not complete without a dog. You want to live here, you got to take the whole package. We'll see. Oh, come on, Dad. OK, I tell you what. I'll, I'll check in town. If nobody claims him, then we'll talk about it. But he sleeps outside. Deal. Excuse me, doesn't anyone care about what I think? <laughs> See? Someone cares. <laughs> oh, come on, boy. There you go. Here we go. Come on. It's OK. Sit. How long's it been since you had someone to play with, huh, boy? Neither of us has to worry about it anymore. Don't get too attached to that dog, Grady. We might have a home. I was thinking about calling a vandal on the car on the way he broke in last night. <laughs> What'd you bring that out for? There's going to be a full moon tonight. Full moon? It'll be really spectacular. The sun, the moon, and the earth will be lined up, so the earth's shadow will pass over the moon. A lunar eclipse. Ooh, can I still get tickets? Someday, something's going to impress you, kids. I just hope I'm around to see it. Did you hear the howling last night? Yeah, it was Vandal. Is that what you think? Around. Vandal will smell him a mile away. Don't you believe me? What's this stuff tied to the trees? Wolf's bait. It's supposed to ward off werewolves. Of course, educated people know it doesn't work. Oh, right. The educated people use silver bullets. Shows how much you know. The fact is, werefolk invented that silver bullet story themselves so poor people couldn't afford to hunt them down. Werefolk? I suppose you'd call them werepersons. Maybe we should go back. I don't know this part of the swamp. supposed to be the heart of the swamp. Right in its very center. A couple of years ago, a kid fell in. Sucked him down like quicksand. There's no telling what's down there. I wonder how deep it is. Let's find out. Like green, slimy mashed potatoes. Oh, this is too gross. Hey. Hey, wait a second. What is it? Something's got me. Help, help me. Oh, oh. oh. it was only a 
shoe. <laughs> Sucker. You're not funny. Oh man, that was awesome. You should have seen the look on your face. Come on, Grady, I couldn't help myself. What's the matter, boy? Somebody's watching us. Thought you said that didn't work. Do you believe everything you hear? Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, boy. sitting there, looking up at me with those big, innocent eyes. So I reached out to pet it. Well, honey, didn't you realize something was wrong when it didn't run away? I thought it liked me. What's wrong? It's that stupid dog. I know it is. We should have taken it right to the pound when we found it. Hey, you leave Vandal alone. He's not bothering anyone. I'm not so sure about that, Grady. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? Come take a look. Stay. Oh, it's sick, Dad. It was mauled by some predator. Just like half a dozen other animals in the area last night. You just killed him for no reason. Oh, come on, Dad. Vandal didn't do this. I mean, look at him. <laughs> Bite marks are canine. So what? It could have been anything. It could have been a wolf. Grady, there are no wolves in the swamp. How do you know? Well, look, the swamp's a pretty brutal place, you know. And if that dog's been living there. He could have become just as brutal. And he was outside all last night. <laughs> the bite marks. I bet they're big, right? Too big for Vandal. No, Grady, they're not. We think it was Vandal. It's not Vandal! There might be something going on out there, but it has nothing to do with my dog. We'll get you another dog. No! It's okay, boy. No one's gonna hurt you. Make sure of it. I don't want another dog. He's completely irrational. Maybe he has that swamp fever he's been babbling about. It's the swamp hermit killing all those animals. I gotta find a shack. I can't let them blame vandals. They'll take them away. Oh man, no one actually goes looking for the swamp hermit. Getting yourself wasted isn't gonna help your dog. Well, if you're that scared, then go home. I'll do it myself. Oh, I wish I never even told you. All right, I'll go, but I'm out of there before the moon rises. That's all it takes, and you'll be just like him, a werewolf. If he kills you, you're lucky. You see anything werewolf? I don't know, it's dark in there.
What are you gonna do with me? You can't keep me here. Everyone will be looking for me. Just let me go, please. I won't tell anyone, I promise. I won't tell. If you let me go, I'll never come back here. Ever. You'll never see me again. My parents are probably on their way now. And they've got guns. Really big guns. Have you ever seen an elephant rifle? Hotel or something, just anywhere, just as long as we're away from the swamp. Dad! All right, I've had just about enough of what. That you're really beginning to scare me, Grady. You should be scared. Dad! Your father went to get some supplies. Emily took the other car into town. Now, unless you're planning on hitchhiking, nobody's going anywhere. Grady, honey, you gotta tell me what's wrong. It's that swamp hermit, Mom. What happened? Did he hurt you? No, not exactly. Did he threaten you? No. What then? He's a werewolf. Oh, I don't have time for this. But oh, come on, Mom, you gotta listen to me. You and Dad base everything on science, right? Things you can prove and explain. But what if the world isn't always like that? What if you knew something was true, but you couldn't prove it? Something horrible you, you knew it could never be explained. What would you do then? Grady, go call the sheriff to get rid of that dog. Mom, you can't think Vandal did this. Do you think a dog can do that to a fence? It's gonna take all night to catch these deer. Are you gonna help me or do I have to do this myself? 
You saw it, didn't you, boy? Don't worry, I won't let it near you again. Mom, no! You don't know what you're doing! I'm sorry, Grady. It has to be done. Mom, you're that dog is the only protection we have. It'll warn us when the werewolf is coming. All right, you want to talk about werewolves, Grady? Fine. We'll talk about werewolves. Tomorrow, we'll talk about everything from werewolves to flying monkeys. But right now, we have to catch the rest of these deer and put this dog where it can't get to them. Grady, it's time to get your priorities straight. Come here, boy. They are straight, Mom! Hello? Where is everyone? We got Will. Grady, is this your idea of a joke?
and children, everything I ever loved. I swore one day I would take your heart the way you took mine. <laughs> Dear. Run, boy! Look out! Oh! Oh! but I can't help myself, Grady. There's got to be something we can do. No. Leave. Now. Go. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, boy. 
Well, well. Normal boys, non werewolf types. I thought you liked the werewolf type. Now, listen, you two, we've talked about this. We know that it was some kind of a wolf that attacked you that night, but there is no evidence to suggest that it was a werewolf. Except what I saw. And you haven't seen Will around, have you? There has to be some rational explanation. Anyway. It's over. And I know one thing. I was wrong about Vandal. With my apologies. Oh, honey, not at the table. <laughs> How's he doing? He seems OK. Maybe he's finally over those nightmares. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I hope you weren't too scared. Remember, there's no such thing as a werewolf. Time for me to say goodbye. Have a scary night, everyone.